Hey everybody, welcome back for some more Far Cry 5. If you're having fun with this playthrough, go ahead and press those like and subscribe buttons. And now let's continue. Now I have to apologize actually because I missed some footage for you guys. But you didn't miss too much, don't worry. We just saw John Seed, one of the uh, Seed siblings, actually um, holding hostage one of our friends and inviting everybody to come and be, well, quote-unquote, cleansed from their sins. Kind of... The valley is turning into a war zone. Mm -hmm. Cults taking food, goods, equipment, whatever they want. Even people. John Seed is forcing them out of their homes and making them join the cult. If folks refuse, well... Let's just say they ain't treated well. Worst of it seems to be centered around Fall's End. So I'd head that way. And that's exactly where we're gonna head. Now, one other thing that you missed is there are three bases of operations. One uh, where that's where the good guys are hiding out, by the way. And there are uh, there is one of them in each brother's territory. We're gonna head towards Falls End now, which is the base of operation inside John Seed's territory. Along the way, though, because it's quite far away, two and a half kilometer is a lot of is a long distance in this game. Along the way, we're gonna do some fun things, of course. First of all, we're gonna stop at the pumpkin farm and get our first dog companion. It's Ray Ray at the pumpkin farm. Boomer's going crazy. I don't know what to do. Well, we know. Hang tight. Running low on funds. The best way to make a quick buck is to go hunting. There's a lot of folks out there who'll pay good money for meat and skins. You ain't uh -huh. day. So you're okay? Well, thank you. All right, so there is hunting in this game. That's what the uh, that's what the game is hinting at there. It's not as robust as it is in the uh, Far Cry 3 or 4 series. You cannot really craft things out of them. You just sell them. The cult's been rounding up all the dogs in the county and sending them north. I tried calling Ray Ray to warn her, but she won't pick up. I'm worried about what's happened. She loves Boomer like it's her kid. Yes, and that's exactly where we're going to save Boomer. All right, I think we are here. Oh, it's that direction, actually. Okay. This is a good companion, by the way, the dog, because well, he's not that lethal as other companions. Of course, he's just a dog, but he can alert you to things like. If you have an animal-related mission, he's ma he's probably the best one to take with you because he can uh, alert you to their presence. Of course, he spots enemies, regular enemies as well, but... All right, this is Boomer, everybody. Hey, buddy. It's been a while. Come out and play. Come here. We, of course, are we are going to pet him. Oh, his former owners are dead. Sorry, buddy. But hey, I can take care of you. Want to come on a wild ride with me? Hmm? Do you? Who's a good boy? Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're coming with me. Come on. All right, we got the dog. On to our next adventure. Oh shoot! Well, I could just kill them. I know he will. Me and Boomer go back. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we can do next. So I'm actually gonna head to Falls End. Let you guys see 
our base, base the resistance. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you later when I'm closer to it. All right, now we're closing in. This isn't much of a uh, base of resistance. It's more of a village, this first one. Small town. But it's very cozy. Hey, guys. Is that a roadblock? Whoops. Sorry. Didn't see ya. Well, I actually saw him. But don't tell anybody. Be careful as you get near Falls End. Cult has control of the whole town. You need to rescue Mary and Jerome and then kick those piggies from the balls. Dutch out. Okay, so let's start disposing of people, I guess. Okay, let's uh, be sneaky if we can. Oh man, they're gonna discover me though. support I don't mind their support I already took care of it guys come on stop being so anxious is this guy going around to loot <laughs> I think he's trying to flank me bad plan man I was already waiting for you. Okay, I think we just about cleared the town. Oh man, what did you do to Boomer? Well, it doesn't matter. We liberated it. Everybody's happy now. Trying to break your neck. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Yeah. Thanks. Allow me? Shit. It's you. Sorry, didn't realize. All you've done, might as well add mover to the list, huh? Thought that Eden's gate confiscated all of this. What kind of fairgrave would I be if I didn't have a hidden stack? Learn from the best. This town. Been through a lot, deputy. We owe you thanks, but... I know you're looking for your people. The truth is, you ain't the only one in need of help. Pastor and I can only do so much. You could see about lending a hand. Be sure to return the favor. What do you say? Uh, how can I say no to that? Salud. Ooh. Barry will get you squared away. When you get the chance, come by the church. I'll be there.
All right then. So we liberated our first community. And that's how each region starts. You liberate a uh, certain base of operations or community, if you want. Boss End is the heart of this whole valley. Liberating that place will go a long way in building a resistance against the cult. I've known Nary and Jerome for a long time. They're good, honest folk. And they won't let you down. All right. On to the next adventure, then. And the way you get main... Uh, quests in this game is you follow these uh, sort of American flag markers and there are people there anxious for you to help them for example Mary you got some balls rolling into town like that most folk take one look at Eden's gate and turn the other way the ones that don't get taught a hard lesson my dad was one of the first to stand up to him anytime the Peggy's showed up looking for trouble Dad would hop in his big rig and chase him out of town. He loved that truck. Called it the Widowmaker. And those fuckers stole it from him a week before he passed. Shit. You really want to piss off the cult? Get the Widowmaker back. Show the cult we're not just going to roll over. And give the folks here something to cheer about. It's locked up under guard at a grain elevator east of here. But I think you're just the person for the job. And you think correctly. All right then. One Widowmaker coming up. You're sure to run into some Peggy's there, so be careful. Actually, before liberating the Widowmaker, we could go and liberate an outpost. What do you guys say? Outposts are usually much more difficult than the uh, first mission implied. You see, there are these things. They are alarms. Pretty visible. If you uh, allow enemies to sound them, they will uh, send in reinforcements and that's never good. So I usually try to, to do this stealthily. I will be honest with you though. <laughs> I usually do not succeed at this. Now let's spot up all the uh, opposition here. Can we actually deal with them? And kill the first alarm. Now let's try and kill the second one as well. So they cannot send in any reinforcements. Oh, I think we can. Yeah, we'll probably get with a well-placed sniper shot. All right, now let's take everybody out, I guess. That's essentially what you need to do to free a camp. Oops, okay, we fell down. That's okay. Let's go in close. Oops, almost got seen there. Oh, this guy is facing me? Boomer? Come on, buddy. Get me out of here. Oh, man. Boomer is in my way. Okay, you go get that guy. I'll get this one. All right, nice teamwork. Now, who's left? I think there's got one guy left. Is he upstairs, though? Yeah, he is. Oh, that poor sniper has no idea what's about to happen to his poor neck. There you go. Another camp liberated. And the good guys get to move in every time we do that.
And in typical Far Cry fashion, liberating camps also means less enemies roaming around the area. When I go in now, I try to use More side it. missions. Brothers and sisters, someone out there is not playing by the rules. Someone is taking from us. Stealing what rightfully belongs to the father. They are a murderer and a coward. But God sees them. And God will guide us to them. They will be found, and they will be punished. This well, is the will of the Father. I agree about the part that we will be found. Now, as to who will be punished, I would not uh, <laughs> take that to the bank. Should we kill the bear? Hoping he doesn't attack us from behind. I'm trying not to kill any animals this time around. I don't think I need them. Because this is a new game plus. So I got everything I need. Ah, we're closing in. Reach the grain elevator is our mission here. So let's scout ahead a bit. Quite empty up to now. Anything but empty, actually. <laughs> Get inside is our mission, so we don't actually need to kill everybody. Just need to get inside for this one. Oh man, that rock. Could I actually just kill this guy or not risk it maybe? This rock. Okay, now let's take this dude out as he comes by. Oh, this is locked though. We need a key. Oh, one of the guards probably has the key. Do you have the key? No, you don't. All right, who is out on his own? Let's get these guys first. Do you have a key for me? No, you don't. That's another stash. We're not going to do this now, of course. Who are you trying to kill with that? Oh, there's a wolf there. You want to see something fun? You can release animals and make them attack the enemies. So you can kind of see what's happening. The bad thing is, is that those wolves, they're not really that strong, so. Oh, apparently we have to get up there. All right, let's get armed to the teeth and look for a way up there, which I guess. Yeah, I know you see me, but very briefly, my friend. <laughs> Ah, come on. Okay, let's go inside here. Or up there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Silly me. Oh, man. Can we go around this? Yeah, we can. Let's not uh, make those bees angry. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, not in my face. Man, so close to me. How can I... Can I go around this? Can I slide around this? No, I cannot. There was a lockbox down there, in case you were wondering. Actually, I think I'm going the wrong way. Okay, let me find my way and I'll come back to you. Alright, so I think... 
It's this way. Yep, let's break this. Oh man, so many bees. Oh man, Boomer is dying. Oh, it didn't save him. Shoot. I'm gonna come for you, buddy. Just hang tight. Oh man, look at that. Can I jump over it? Yeah, thankfully. <laughs> And this is uh, actually a secret stash. Now, actually, we were, weren't meant to do that. I was just trying to finish the main mission, but the paths intersected. We're just trying to get inside that building. And there's the Widowmaker. It has guns. Two of them in the front. So you can guess whether this is gonna be fun. Spoiler alert. Spoiler, it is. <laughs> okay, now. Let's just zigzag until everybody's dead. <laughs> Or we can just crash into things. Actually, you have to be shy when shooting. She's uh, lying to you because if somebody explodes too close to you, you're dead. That's why I went off road there. I was kind of afraid that he would blow up to me. All right, and the uh, mission clearly says that the ram through the uh, blocks do not kill everybody. The first time I did this mission, I kept blowing myself up. It was hilarious. <laughs> I just kept shooting, I didn't know I was actually, uh, I could actually just run through them and be gone. I wanted to kill everybody and that ended up killing me more than a few times. Oh, helicopters. Now see, that almost took me out. If I was an inch closer. Hit those sons of bitches. Better yet. All right, honking the horn every time I kill somebody. Like that. No, get out of the way. Oh, Jesus, little animal. Oh, it's gonna blow up in my face. I don't want that. It's a good thing that this helicopter is not attacking me because I cannot defend against it, unfortunately. Well, I could get out of the car, of course, and uh, hit it with a rocket launcher. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not blow this up. <laughs> Almost blew myself there. If I can blow them up safely, though, I'm gonna do it. Of course. One funny thing that happens in this game a lot is animals and people on the side of the road, and when they see you come, they run just in front of you. I don't know why. There's lots, lots of suicidal animals and people in this game. <laughs> All right, I think that's the last roadblock, yeah. Oh no no no! Don't blow up in me. 
Now bring her on home to Falls End where she belongs. Okay, handbrake. All right, now this is a simple matter of returning this. I'll rejoin you once I'm there. All right, and we are almost home. Let's let return this truck to its rightful owner. I kind of like this place. It's very cozy. <laughs> All right. Here we go. One truck delivered, as promised. Holy shit. I can't believe my eyes. I gotta say, Deputy, seeing my dad's truck rumbling home sure brings back memories. I'd stand out here every time he came back. Just like this. Waving him home. You definitely got the grit to handle her. And more importantly, you got the heart. My dad would have liked you. If you ever need to use the Widowmaker, you don't even gotta ask. In the meantime, I'll keep my ear to the ground. If I hear anything that's worth your while, I'll let you know. Thanks again, Deputy. You are welcome. Actually, I didn't know we could use the Widowmaker whenever we wanted. I didn't really use it during my first playthrough. You're doing a hell of a job, kid. But Eden's Gate isn't just gonna sit around with their thumbs up their butts. We push, they push back harder. John's gonna send out birds to try and spot you from the air, and arm convoys to intercept you on the road. You keep your head on a swivel. And that concludes this episode of Far Cry 5. If you enjoyed this, I'd appreciate you hitting those like and subscribe buttons. Alright guys, see you next time.